Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the attempt to play Crusader Kings 3 series. <clears throat> so we are still playing as Petty King Mershad of House Brian. Now, you'll probably notice that the date from the end of the last episode is different to the beginning of this one. Now, that is because essentially I'm just an idiot. I got like halfway through recording an episode, which was about... For, well, no, it was four years of gameplay. And... <clears throat> apologies. And realised I wasn't actually recording. Uh, the only thing that happened of major, like... The only major thing that happened was actually creating the Duchy of Connacht and taking over... What's this? Isla? So that's the only major thing that happened in those... Like, 15 minutes or so. So, we'll just get rid of these. Low county control in Eilech, yeah, but we are already... No, we're not. Okay, so we'll get you on that straight away. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. And we shall also fabricate a claim on Ulster. Everything else, we can declare two wars uh, against Ail, the Ail of Ulster. We can already... Oh, our vassal has a claim. Might be better for us if we allow our vassal to get that instead of us claiming it. We can actually move our claim onto Ossery or Leinster. We'll choose Ossery first. Yep, yeah, so we'll move our rally point. Declare war in the name of our vassal, so it'll cost us 188 prestige, we'll only get 20 back. However, we'll also gain 20 fame, which is always nice. He's also vastly inferior to our strength. And I'm assuming this will mean our vassal will like us a lot more. So let's start marching our army over. We'll defend our vassal. Uh, we'll do why our vassal isn't raising... Ah, uh, he's strengthened on 342. He should actually be in the war with it. No, he's not. Okay. I was... I was under the... Oh. The child was not meant to be. That's unfortunate. Oh, so as well, the four years that we missed... Oh, uh, we've got like seven children now. We did have children. Wives were pregnant. Um, the best one, I think, she's actually pretty good up to now, Judith. I think Judith is our best child up to now. No, Helga. Helga is actually probably our best child up to now. She did inherit the intelligent trait, so that's fun. There's that siege down the province. We should be able to siege them down quicker than they can siege us down. So we do actually have another daughter. Let's check out her traits. So she is beautiful, really good trait to love. It increases your diplomacy by three, your fertility by 30%, and the attraction opinion is plus 30. That's all good. So what can her name be? Should we, should we name her Pasca? Yeah, let's do that. I think she's worthy. So there is actually a fort in Ulster. The fort level is too high. Add better siege men at arms to finish the siege faster. We should also have a fort, we do. So I don't think they'll be able to see. They can see just why. Helga keeps the trait cynical. Yeah, go on, by all means, keep it. But we should have a fort level three. Fort level two. Four, ah, fort level five to go to bastions and care and walls. Okay. Okay, let's. Go and hmm. Yeah, let's go and let's go and wipe them out. We should be able to. Yeah, we can get them here. And it should be a stack wipe. Ah, he's called us allies into the battle. Well in that case, we'll just focus on sieging down their settlement. We will end up having a battle here, which we will win. Yep, we've caused the enemy a lot of damage there, actually. 
So now if we focus on siege in their territory, they shouldn't actually be able to siege any of our provinces down. So paying homage, Mator has arrived at my Castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomat knights and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by Tor himself. In a booming voice, Tor announces that he is here to pay homage and that he comes bearing gifts of gold. Such generosity is hard to find on a subject, Tor's loyalty is truly something to treasure. Keep the gold, your friendship and us, please. And I think if we take the prestige, because we, we took a major prestige hit, actually, from... Oh, yeah, wait. We changed... Oh, that, that is also a thing in the last... In the, you know, 15 minutes or so that I wasn't recording, we changed our lifestyle focus to stewardship just to get the extra domain. So, I think we should just say his friendship is enough with us being... Uh, but it doesn't go against our traits, so yeah, that seems fair enough. Let's just go with that. The, the more prestige we have, the better anyway. We've unlocked... Uh, what should we take? Mm, I think... What does Architect give us? Stewardship plus two, Avaricious. Stewardship plus... Yeah, I think if we go down this line, because we get that divide of the tension, which gives us a domain limit of plus two. So let's go down that line. And in the meantime, we'll continue uh, actually sieging Thormon. Thormon. So that's unfortunate. To the amicable, amicable petty king Mershad of Munster, I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Ah, well then. Ah, uh, we shouldn't need to... We shouldn't need to do anything, actually. He's stronger than the, than the enemy. Let's just get rid of this. He is actually stronger. He should be. Yeah, we'll accept that. We'll accept the call to arms. Because we should be... Yeah, he's got very little troops. He may call people to aid him. It won't make much difference. And we are actually going to finish this siege before they will. So making acquaintances. Helga seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. She got along quite well with everyone she spoke to, even the adult guests. Yeah, gregarious is a fantastic trait to have, so it never hurts to make friends. Good stuff. So we're at 87% on that. War oh! because there's another fort. We'll siege through this dead quick. They have sieged our land, but it won't make much of a difference. Greetings, my amicable liege. I have discovered that Ale Flathbitak's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Mm. Okay, interesting. I have not had this before. But he doesn't like us very much, so I think we get a weak hook on him. I think that's what we do. But an empty position on the council. Our steward is no longer there. The... Come on, disappear already. Here we go. So the best one we've got is Felke O'Bronin. Bronin? Let's go with him. And we're on 70% now. We should probably go and fight again. Yeah, we can get that claim. Lovely. And we should be able to get there before they actually win. Yeah, we can do. Um, there's the battle. Lovely, we're on 91%. So if we unsiege our land, that should put us on the 100. They've got too little troops to do any progress on the siege, to get any progress on the siege. Lovely, there's the 100%. So let's enforce our demand straight away. Free once more. My charming wife, Petty Queen Judith, has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of Coolad and is once again free. My useless wife. <laughs> My useless wife, okay. Well, that's very nice of you, Mershad. So we disband. Our heir is unmarried. She must have died 
unfortunately. What are his children like? Got any congenital traits? Quick. Just quick. Okay, let's see if we can get... So there's Robust. There's Quick. Genius. A genius from House Ratzeberg. <coughs> Apologies. She's forgiving, greedy, gregarious. I think we should go with her. He does lose more prestige. I think he also lost prestige in the last marriage. But, you know, for a genius, it's worth it. We just need to get that trait into our bloodline as soon as possible. Okay, so our daughter's released. Grand uh, grandson was released. Yeah, because we don't actually have. We have intelligent, don't we? So if I just go through these quick, I can do it on your hand. We actually have, yeah, we have intelligent, but we don't have a genius. So if we can get genius. Oh, she's a torturer as well. Lovely. Grey eminence. Yeah, so she should probably tutor some children as well. In fact, can we educate child? Do we have... Where's the intelligent one? Mm, okay, if we go with... Yeah, then the, the two-year-old, if she starts... If we send that proposal off, she should end up with good stats, I believe. So how old are our other children? 14, 10, 8, 6, 4, and 4. Oh, we've got the two-year-old as well, okay. Increase the opinion with me, Angus. Okay. Right, let's check how this war's going on. So... I went all around the world to get to that. So he has four soldiers. Yeah, I think we've won that war then. My steward, Falcar, informed me that there is a desperate need for a new road to traverse the Earldom of Desmond. Many of the old roads are dilapidated and even dangerous. A commoner by the name of Ulgarg has been put forward as the natural leader of the construction effort. Yeah, let's see it done. See, the Liberty War has ended, it was no longer valid to continue. Okay. So he actually lost that war, okay. The road construction in Desmond has met a delay. Ulgog reports that the workers have been corralled by a would-be innkeeper to soothe their souls and narrow other travellers they are building a roadside tavern. Get them back on the road. We didn't ransom who we could have ransomed, but that's okay. We can declare war on Ale Domino. We do have a claim on Ossery. He actually controls... We've got the Eldemar Alliance there as well, so we should probably start getting a claim on that. It'll take a year to do that. So, in the meantime then, yeah, we probably should declare war for Ossery. So we'll move the rally point here. And then we'll need to save for... Making a kingdom. Okay, let's, um, let's pause while we sort this out. And the battle goes well in our favour, it should. Good marching boots, get them to the front lines, or they will march the way Ulgar commands them. Let's go with that. And um, we are being beaten. What soldiers has he got? He's got Hulk Skulls. No, we need mechs. Straight away, we need mechs. We haven't got enough money. We haven't got enough money. We get a three-year contract for 192 gold, though. Hmm. And they are just levies and bowmen, though. Ah. Uh... That's a shame. Right, we'll see what we'll we'll see what happens here. So we do not outnumber them anymore. However. So Mayor Ongus has passed away. If we raise these now. Oh no. 
that was the wrong thing to do. Can we reinforce? No, we can't. Yeah, we'll pay, whatever. And the makes got... Well, this is a mistake, isn't it? Let me... Can we surrender? We'll lose the claim, we'll pay a lot of gold. Yeah, I think the best thing to do for now is to surrender. Ah, uh, that's... That's me being awful at the game. So yeah, it's in the art of war that a good general knows when he can't win. I'm not necessarily a good general, but I, as you can see from, you know, the defeat there. But I know I can't win this now. Them Huskars. The Huskars are gone. The Huskars are gone. Are they? Yeah. Maybe we can win. Maybe we can. I cannot wait to reap the benefits. Okay, yeah, let's have them in our card. Yeah, I think because we have less, uh, more provinces than what they do, we should be able to actually siege down there. Ah. Nope, let's turn back. We don't want to get involved in a battle with them, because I've just seen they defeated us. Callus, is that a good trait to have? Maybe not. Compassionate? No. Arrogant? Eh. We'll just, yeah, we'll keep Callus. Ah, can we not withdraw? No. Yeah, it's time to surrender here. That's a shame. Let's surrender. Ah, that set us back a while. Here we can invest in. Go with defensive measures. Okay, let's disband all. So now we just need to get ourselves out of death, death, and we are dead. So Mershad only lasted one episode. We are now playing as Kate. He's only got one arm. Meshad only had one arm. Is this like, is this like some sort of like Skywalker thing? Cause like both Anakin and Luke lost a hand and these are now like Meshad and Brian have lost their arm. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll get the claim, see it done. And I have died. <laughs> so, Petty King Brian did last about 20 seconds or something? Okay. So, we are now Meshad the second. You gain the trait Ard Equip Bargainer. Curious. Right, our lifestyle. Let's go with diplomacy because it's our best one. Let's go with family focus. We will need to get a spouse straight away. See the inheritable traits. Robust genius. She isn't married anymore. She was the one married to our... Yeah, let's, let's marry her. She was married to our dad, I believe. Secondary spouses. Let's take... Mm, beautiful. Let's take... I want like an Amazon S, like a Herculean character. There's more geniuses. We could take them just to have more genius children. Quick and beautiful. Pasca. She was married to Mershad first. Ew. That'd be some nasty way of recycling. Robust. Yeah, I think robust. I think we should take robust. Uh, 
And the last one, we should probably take a... She, she's robust, yeah. She's beautiful. Wasn't there a quick and beautiful? I think that would probably be a good idea as well. Where's she gone? Chance Children's Medium, okay. So we do only have one domain now because we didn't create the Kingdom of Ireland. So this series has just become more uh, complicated because... Hmm. Yeah, it's because... So we've got our uncle in charge of... Oh, England have actually taken Dublin now. So our uncles are in charge of their own duchies. We have one. So our brother has got another uh, county and our brother. So yeah. So we currently have 392 out of a possible 606 troops. Our family members are currently weaker than us. But not together. If we try to revoke that title, the odds are he may actually accept because he's terrified of us. Should we take the risk? Let's take that risk. Yep, he's bowed down to our will. So now we've got two... Two counties. He is a... Let's see. He is... He's only a 21% chance. But he does only have 230 strength. We have 428. <clears throat> so this could be... I feel like this is just history repeating itself at this point. So let's set the rally point here. Let's revoke his title. Or can we just imprison him, like, outright? No. It'd take... Or can we murder him? If we murder him, who's his heir? Me. Okay. 24%. Eh. No, we'll, we'll just play the tyrant game. We'll try to revoke his title. If he doesn't accept it, we'll... Oh, he accepted it with such a low chance. But now our vassals won't like us very much. Well, at all, actually. Let's check our council. Yeah, it's never good to have a spy master that doesn't like you. Hmm. Is there anyone that will? Well, it looks like we're going to have to sway our spy master. Where is she? Yeah, 95% chance to sway her. That's good stuff there. And then I think we could actually claim the petty kingdom of Kanaktia and he would become our vassal. Mm, are we the direct heir? We are. Well, murder scheme, 23% chance. We aren't good enough, basically. Okay, well, this campaign is just went absolutely crazy. Because Mershad died, then Brian died. Pretty interesting now. So we are first, well, second in line actually. First in line to inherit five things, and second in line to inherit five things. Okay, well, stay tuned to see if Petty King Mershad the second can succeed when Mershad the first failed. Thank you very much for watching. If you didn't like this episode. By all means, feel free to leave a dislike. However, if you do, just leave some constructive criticism. Let me know how I can make my content better for you. Alternatively, if you did enjoy this, I'd really appreciate it. And it would help the channel massively if you left a like, subscribe, comment, or any combination of them three. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.